This week's episode of the Deckshare and Yums podcast is brought to you by a fucking half decent Wi Fi connection, and I won an award at the festival. Suck my dick. Play the <laughs> intro. Are we, do- are we doing that? Are we playing intros in the. Maybe not in the video, but I'll. I'll, I'll... All right. So if you listen to this in audio, you just heard the intro. All right. Bit of jiggery pokery. <laughs> this house is stinking. If you're watching the video, I'm not sorry. We haven't fucking been in. This is mad now. You've just been away at winning awards. Is that what you've been doing? Is it? Just winning awards. Winning awards. Winning awards. But fucking time. <laughs> so we'll start with that then. So what was the what was the award? What was the crack? I don't know. I didn't know anything about it, right? So they basically have awards out here. It's it's kind of it's kind of cheeky, right? I I don't fucking I'll tell you this. So essentially, I've you win a, you win the they do awards every week mm-hmm. for like best comedy shows, best whatever, and then that puts you in the pool for like the main award of the festival. Right. So technically. I've won an award and I've been nominated for another one. So I, I think essentially, <laughs> only essentially you can fucking goes, double up on it. <laughs> but essentially, I'm getting best actor and best supporting actor. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Of course, yeah. <laughs> I'll return. I'll return open the envelope and go. Oh, it was me. <laughs> it was me the whole time. And tell me, this was a this is obviously a, obviously Australian, but um, is it a was a part of that? You were doing the fringe, were you, or were doing like the I right, so Perth Fringe, yeah. Um, but I've no I've no idea. All I know is there was one of the nights in the show where a woman wearing a lanyard said good luck and I was like mm. that wouldn't fucking happen in Edinburgh. You'd be here in a long raincoat with an eye patch. <laughs> oh, so you knew then yeah. that that was No, I, I just I just assumed that somebody was in from like a reviewer or something. Right. Um but because this is essentially me getting a new show ready, I didn't really give a fuck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and just so happened to have a belter. So I, I'm now I'm an unsufferable fucker. I'm an award winning comedian. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be the fucking. That is gonna be on the tombstone. Award winning comedian. I mean, nah, because you think when you win awards, Connor, you never die. Oh, eternal. Right. You know what I mean? The only the only tombstone I'm gonna have is whenever I, I go pro in the wrestling, I was going to make a sex joke there, to be honest with you, and then I decided I not to. That was going to go now, in fairness. You know, I, t- I was going to make a sex joke, and then I realised my good lady's in there making dinner, and I thought, if she hears it, she'll fucking kill me. So, right. I, you see, now, this, is where, this is where the problems still, you know, I mean? uh, you know you're not, you're not the off. Old, the, old me, the old me would have said something like, the only tombstone I'd be doing is pedal drive, and that all she bath and do a mouth on the side. I said like that. You can't understand me. I should just said like that. You have to fire in the Lurgan accent. So you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'll just fuck out. There was a guy uh, after one of my shows in Perth. There was a, a fella from home came over to me, and I was sitting with one of my Aussie mates, and he was like, "Just buy fuck some crack by." Fuck, I was lethal. When's Karen coming over? Fuck sex. She's crazy. He's, yeah, see, and then he talked to me for ages about Karen, and I'm like nodding, like just put on a masterclass on a Warren Wooden show there. <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> And then the guy left, and I went, "Did you understand a word he said?" And the Aussie guy went, "I didn't fucking understand a word you said, can't." <laughs> <laughs> it just, you just flow back into it straight away. Oh, I, absolutely, yeah. It just comes naturally out of you. But I mean, you want to fuck off. Well, obviously, you've slowed down an awful lot for uh, for your Australian compadres. Oh, well, you have to with the hits. You know what I mean? It's too, yeah. it's too hard to be talking fucking normal out here, hey. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to do the old mommy trick now. What what's the weather like over there at the moment? So it's about, I don't know. I think it's about twenty five, twenty six in the minute. There, there's a heat wave coming in tomorrow, so it's going to hit forties. Oh, we snow coming tomorrow. So, ah, oh, fuck. Probably do a wee bit of skiing myself, depending on how things go. Neither <laughs> <Did> you <laughs> award winning, like you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> what's the award? A big mirror class. <laughs> it's a big club, and you're now in it. Oh, Jesus, that's right. I'd fucking, oh man. Do you know the award comes with? One way ticket to Epstein Island. Oh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get a prostate check from Prince Charles. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> Sausage that's finger. That's pretty much, that's oh, pretty much it. <laughs> Poor Charlie, man. Poor Charlie. Ah, uh, come on, no. Aren't you just glad that somebody else's finger went up as ours, not his own? Because that would have split, that would split a man in two. Ah, uh, old Danny fingers now would be fun. Oh, I'd be trying to like ram a Cookstown jumbo up you. <laughs> Speaking of a, a big jumbo, you know what I had last night? A pepperami wide boy. 
I've, I've had one of them the last 36 years. <laughs> What's a pepperoni white boy? Is there is that a new type of pepperoni? It's a fatter pepper, pepperoni. Basically, McCann was on the podcast, and we were talking about things we never tried. I had never had a pepperoni in my life. I've uh-huh. never never tried them. Do so, you still get to pull the foreskin back on us on the white boy? Well, that's the thing, I so I didn't know there was a foreskin. I but then didn't realize there's another fucking layer of plastic. So it doesn't go right the way through the foreskin. I stopped before I circumcised them. Uh, I had slid right up nicely now. It was unreal. I couldn't believe it. That's, uh, that's to be honest with you, the first time I had a pepper on me, I did the same thing. Did you, you look at it and you go, is that sausage skin or what is it? Well, yeah, well, I was driving too. So I was like, oh, well, that's, that's yeah, that's the, the shine of the skin. And then I realized, no, it's right. But uh, yeah, so, um, uh, another bucket list done. I've had a pepper on me. <laughs> <laughs> Your life is a fucking bolt of lightning, lad. Listen. I, I, if you set your standards low, you can never be disappointed. You know what I mean? I'm, I know that's why. I'm Who else do you know was what felt like they, they'd achieve something by it in the pepper army? They don't do them out here. No way, do that. And what I was going to say to yourself when you get into the the, the state the state of mind that is pepper army. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Way back from a gig, you'll open maybe two, you'll get two or three up, and then you're just you're just doing really wax the whole way home is class. You have to do it and you leave it in your seat. You can't, you have to kind of <laughs> have to say now it's something I, I just... could be added to my gig repertoire of uh pre gig feeding. It was nice now, I have to say. It's the thing about pepper, I've never had one here. That was a good idea. <laughs> Is you your... know what I mean, I always eat one and go, I taste like shit. <laughs> Oh, do you? Well, I actually thought I was expecting it to be like shade and I thought it was all right. But anyway, that's a pepper. I mean, listen, is your Wi Fi cutting off a wee bit there because you're breaking up a wee bit? Is it? Fucking Just Australian. A wee bit. Fucking no. hole. It's not too bad. But probably, it's probably the heat. Probably the heat coming in 26 degrees. Like, so up to 40. Like, are you go, are you, what do they do? They do like, you know, the way we know, like, we've, we've been told there's snow coming. So in, uh-huh. your, in your mind, you're getting ready. How the fuck all are right. you ready for 40 degrees? I think it's different because at home, obviously, when you're getting ready for snow, you start practicing your sick voice. I can't come in, <laughs> or you're you start talking like this. Jesus, Sandra, I can't get through the door because of the tundra. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. It's it's it's. I don't think it's been. There's been a couple of days where it was forty. You just don't fucking go outside. I got roasted helping Taylor's dad move a fridge the other day. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can even see it now anymore. Like. It's, it's went, it oh, went I seen your picture. Now. Yeah, I seen your. Yeah. No, I'm, I've gone tan. I'm, I've never went tan in my fucking life. Yes. Around the shoulders. Uh, and that wasn't even, that was only about fucking 30. It wasn't even that hot. So I think the best thing to do when it hits 40 is just stay in the house. Was that right? Just don't go out. So it's the aircon, obviously, right. the same as America. It's just pure aircon in the house. Aye, but we're in a bit of an older house. So the aircon's not, it's just a couple of fans blowing like. Oh, uh, but it's grand because I've discovered a new treat called a mochi ball, Connor. I don't know what it is. It's like ice cream when it feels like it's wrapped in bread, but it's not bread. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's a wee Japanese thing. Or so. I don't know what the fuck it is. They're delicious. You just it's, a wee ball. You it's just, just a wee ball of ice cream and like a chewy dough or something. It feels like dough. You've just described the Arctic roll. It's not an Arctic roll. I know what a fucking Arctic roll is. It's not It's not bread then because that's an Arctic roll. It's the, I don't know what it is. Like chewy, gelatinous. Feels like bread. Probably. I was wondering. <laughs> uh, What's it called? A mochi ball. They're fucking unbelievable. Uh, but I, I don't know. Like I, the gigs all start Wednesday, Thursday, Friday again. So I'll be out like running between the fucking. And I haven't done stand up in shorts yet. I can't bring myself to do it. Mm. So you, oh yeah, you're gonna have to do stand up in the forty degree heat. Aye. Obviously, it's not gonna be forty degree in the venue. But then again, yeah. if the venue's only just got fans, it's, you could be at fucking thirty two. It's it's the getting between the venues is the fucking problem. Mm. Uh, so I'll probably have to. Uh, can you hear that in the background? Is that a bird or something? There's bird. Turn that fucking TV down. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I swear, just can't get the fucking staff these days, man. You can tell we've been going each other a while. I'm getting all brave. Oh, I was going to say, you know, domestic. <laughs> nice you there, actually? Yeah. <laughs> you see the next podcast? I have a fat lip and a fucking boomerang stuck up my ass. <laughs> I don't know where I get the fat the fat lip from, but the boomerang was my idea. Yeah, here you <laughs> come. It goes around, comes around, eh? Um, ah, it's only one way. I'm gonna get coming back, coming back. You know what I mean? The was trying to do. I seen that's a good I've attempt. Seen, I seen the path you were trying to walk there, my friend. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you very much. Now, <laughs> now I'm gonna stay. 
<laughs> what about Big Charlie Dan? Then he's not dead, is he? Hmm, well, depends who you listen to. Um, I know we're we're eight hours ahead. He is dead. Right now. <laughs> no, he well, it, it has to be. Uh, I definitely would say it's 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 serious anyway because there's no way that they would release something like that unless it was like late stage. Right, it's North ser- North yeah. ser- serious as cancer. Rhythm is a dancer. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, geez, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Uh, you know, God love him. The rhythm is a dancer, Camilla's a necromancer. Oh, I don't know. It, I like somebody that. has to, yeah, it's a but did we not fucking not to fucking not to speak out of turn here, but we not called something, I guess, a couple of years ago. I don't, but we can't talk about it on here. We have to talk about it now. Just, mm-hmm. it mean. Basically, this is all going to plan. This is exactly, <laughs> this is exactly yeah, when you're right. Exactly. When should, I, when should I fly home? Uh, I don't know. Probably within about four weeks' time, I'd say. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, yeah, it is. It's very strange. I, I, I was wondering how long it would be because that's, like you say, there's always been, we've talked about this, and I was thinking, oh, I wonder will it happen? I was like, no, it couldn't. There's no way. And then fuck it did last night. I nearly fell off the seat. I was like, oh my God. How, how old is he? 72? Oh, I'm not sure what age is, yeah. It definitely been. Oh, he would be seventy, yeah. All right, and it's right up his pipe in it. Think so, eh? Fuck. Prostate. Bless you. Uh, <laughs> right up his dumper. I know. Right up. Not right up his. Right up his Camilla Parker hole. There we go. Oh, it took me far go. too long. There we go. We got there in the no, end. Not, that's where you win. That's how you win awards, baby. <laughs> That's how you fucking do it. <laughs> so what are the so what is it? Because I read today that he's he's stepping down from duty he's temporarily, obviously. Yeah. I don't know. I mean time will tell, as they always oh, say. Fuck, that's you sinister bass, right? <laughs> I just well, I... you you could the way you said time will tell as well, you kinda of turn into a Highland radio DJ there. You're like, time will tell. Time will there's, tell. A there's a funeral in St. Johnson. Wake House is brave. Uh, <laughs> Stars only. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, the, what, what else has been happening? Oh, you haven't heard all the crack about uh, the DUP, and uh, have you been following all that over there? I only seen it in fucking TikTok. So they're back in, and there's now Michelle O'Neill's first minister. Mm-hmm. And our p- little Pengeli is the fucking deputy first minister. Mm-hmm. How is she going to fucking get anything done with the arthritis in her hands? She's a wise psoriasis, with no fairness, I. Um... Awful bad and going fingernails. <laughs> like your hairy knuckles, which I never noticed before. <laughs> never noticed. I, know. I, I know they're going with the whole historic route of uh, first uh, nationalist first minister and all that crack, but it's not the first time we've had females because obviously Arlene and Michelle were there, but... All right. Exactly. Uh, it's been a, it's more it's more interesting to see the uh, the Bryson and Jim Allister fucking circus show going on in the background. Well, uh, they're losing their minds, are they? Oh, it's fucking brilliant. So the DUP held a big secretive meeting last week, and Bryson was live tweeting it, all the stuff from the secret meeting. Right. So it meant somebody in the room was releasing stuff. He wasn't there, obviously. So somebody in the room was releasing word for word what was being said in the secret meeting of the EUP. So uh, apparently the panic was on that uh, the police were called and all this crack and they were going to, apparently according to them, that the police were called to block signals of phones because somebody in the room had a phone that was tweeting out or, or was recording out. So Bryson... It, it had to be, a, the li- the, had to be a listening device. You, right. I was going to say, how do the block signals and phone? Just turn up a big bit of tinfoil. Right, David, you go, you're in the front. <laughs> well, that's what I put up on Instagram going... The building is surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> I put up on Instagram going, uh, can we uh, can we book the PSNI for gigs? Because we could block phone signals for comedy right. gigs. Fucking right. good. <laughs> PSNI I think... then go, uh, actually, no, we weren't there for that reason. And it was, oh, yes, you don't want people to know you have the technology. Because Big Jeffrey said right. you can block phone signals. See, that's us all paying fucking TV licenses now. That's it. When the them ads from the 90s, they were saying they could fucking detect the TVs. We didn't believe them. Now it's real. Uh, so Bryson, yes, has had that. He had a bit of fun with that. He was uh, 
but no doubt. And I mean, you can go back and see that, not that you would want to see it, but uh, it was verbatim, like word for word, what was being said. And they were apparently in the room losing their fucking mind trying to find Seriously? out who was. So I could, I don't know. Bryson's there just like, I'm going to get that web. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had this vision of. Obviously, it had to be some sort of listening device because everybody, the, the, apparently they stopped the meeting a couple of times to say, can everybody please take their phones out and turn them off? So if you were uh, beside somebody and who was the traitor, as they called them, uh, you would have, you know, you took my phone out and turned it off to show that you turned your phone off. There must have been some other listening device. I just like the idea that, you remember back in the 90s, you used to have them fucking weird baseball caps with the wee antenna? <laughs> that was, uh, I had this of a voice that with a downtown FM fucking cool or the cool FM. Was, based on the based on the level of fucking DUP corruption for the last couple of years, just it it pays like. <laughs> yeah, it's you, it's you, it. Tell the fucking truth. That he gave you two fucking Jet Two vouchers, and you're fucking, you're all over it. Is Bryson just cracking up in case because there's two women he's worried in case they get their period at the same time? <laughs> What happens if he's too mince to it? Do you know? Do you know how fucked it is, right? I, I, I initially was going fuck a, a female first minister and deputy first minister, and I forgot that Arden and Michelle was deputy first minister and first minister because yeah. it's been that fucking long since they could work. And people get really, uh, they're kind of getting obsessive now, and I, I, you know, you love watching it happen because they're getting obsessed about you know, oh my god, it's the first national, first minister, and all this sort of stuff, and but. The, the seeds were sown a couple of years ago because they often, the, in my work, obviously, we work with OFM DFM, which is uh -huh. the Office of First Minister. Oh, first Minister, Deputy First Minister. Yep. Which is now the TEO. Office of First Minister and Deputy First Minister doesn't exist anymore. And What's the TEO, Silver? The Executive Office. All right. I thought, fuck, I thought it was like T Shock. No. <laughs> fucking Era Ogre or some shit. I thought Michelle could stuck straight in. But the fact that first they order, first order of business now, everything's just spoken in fucking Irish. Even the Chinese restaurants now. You're not going to the lucky duck, you're going to the flat talking duelta. <laughs> or whatever. That's that's what I was thinking. There's a there's a there's a hidden meaning behind it all. I think it's because the conspiracy theory and tinfoil hat me thinking they don't want the rest of the world to know what's going on. So the way to do that is to put somebody in from Caledon. Where nobody Caledon? can Caledon, where Oh I yeah, yeah. So nobody can understand a fucking word she's saying. <laughs> I mean I think another another good way to make sure people Oh, do you mean the the rest of the world? Like another yeah. good way to understand or to fuck I can't talk what's happened to me there. I I, I just took a wee brain fart there too. I don't know what was going on. It must be in the wind or something. I fucking lose my mind, hey. <laughs> um No, I was just thinking like the only way you can or the, another way to get people to stop giving a fuck about what happens in Northern Ireland is just uh Call it Northern Ireland and nobody gives a fuck. That wasn't funny either. I haven't since and, and I not, won this award, my life changed. Honestly, was it not? Was it, it wasn't funny? It also wasn't true. Um, I, I just I'm making very little sense. Do you want to have them? Was really is this just what, is this what happens? Is this what happens when you win awards? You just become. That's what I just said. I've just I've just said I've, I've got I've got too big my boots now. It's when you hit the amount of. Milestones and and life goals that I have, Connor. This time of life, I mean, I'm only a young man, and <clears throat> to be winning awards with a new with new material, <laughs> it's hard to stay grounded. Was it you your know, material? You what? Was it your material? Just got to check. No, 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 no. It was Patty McDonald's. <laughs> of course, my material, my focal. <laughs> Did I book? A business class flight home again? Yes, I did. Can oh. I afford it? No, I can't. Because the fucking award doesn't come with any monitor again. <laughs> you just get to put a wee sticker on a poster. And I didn't know that. Uh, have we... Well, I didn't want to put any pressure on you, especially uh, when our listeners are listening. Uh, is there is there a return date? I'm not telling you, because I don't know when it is yet. There's a flight book. Can I just confirm that it's definitely before the 5th of April? I fucking hope so. <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> I fucking booked the flight and what I've discovered is you can change you can change it twice on business class for free. So I'll fucking 
Because I'm just that guy, you know? You know what I mean? Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh. oh, my God. What just <laughs> fell out of the sleeves there? Oh, no. That's a very pale underarm. That's what that is. Have you seen the other side of it? <laughs> it's all brown, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking drumstick. <laughs> I know, but I'm going to have to go and lie out tomorrow and just fucking do the rest. <laughs> Don't mind me, girls. Just doing the other side. And uh, what about the uh, the the whole fitness and the training? Is the, is the boxing camp still in in operation? Still full camp. So I was training yesterday. I'm training again tomorrow morning. Uh, I've hit it now. I'm doing boxing twice a week. So Monday, Wednesdays, I box and then go straight to the gym and lift weights. Uh, and then I have a day off Thursday. But there's a, the gym I go to is we fucking heavy bag. So when they're doing a bit of heavy bag, but just skip them. And I fuck on then of. Which Friday and then actually Saturday or Sunday I'm actually going to the gym and doing a wee bit of uh, boxing skipping again on the days off because it's it's so sunny out here and so you wake up at six in the morning and you're awake you're like fucking good to go yeah uh, so, yeah I can I can see that yeah I uh, I remember hmm. that if you're in like uh, America well, if it's really hot and stuff and it's I, I don't know where it is maybe it is a mindset but it makes you think oh fuck the day started right I, I will say this though. Thing. I will say this now to you, Connor Keys. Uh, I can't box. Thought I could. Thought I could box. So right. last week, right, the the trainer, the Al, the guy I'm training with, was like, look, get yourself a decent gum shield and when you come back in, we'll do a wee bit of sparring and a wee bit of like, uh, like defensive stuff just because I was just hitting pads and he was like, that's all well and good. But, you know, maybe you like a bit more experience, right? Hmm. So I, I bought a fucking gum shield that has holes in it so you can breathe through it, right? Yeah. Now, do you remember how, even though I went to Catholic school and have a drama degree, I also have a very sensitive gag reflex? You do, uh-huh. Right. <laughs> so, where are these two things in mind, right? So, we start off, I'm hitting pads, and I'm I'm getting good, right? I'm getting good at hitting pads, and I start believing in myself. I'm giving a fucking, the trip is here, right? <laughs> Let's go, what the fuck, right? I'm fucking throwing him shit oh yeah. Becky. Right. Oh yeah. Absolutely, man. Right. <laughs> Getting ready for the thump on the dump, right? And <laughs> so me and Big Alzi, right, we'll just spar and he's not wearing a helmet. As a professional boxer doesn't put a helmet on. And I'm like, Do you not want a helmet, lad? And he's like, Nah, I'll be all right. <laughs> You're not gonna touch right? me. Right? <laughs> we're here. So he starts throwing punches and I forgot what it's like to have people throw punches. So I start blinking just uncontrollably, right? It's 35 degree heat. What do you hear? 35 degree heat. The gum machine starts playing up, so I start going, ah, ah, right? And then because there's fucking holes in the mouth guard, it started the whistle. <laughs> so I went from like, ding, ding, round one, here we fucking go, to just, ah, 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 Straight away, I'm just like, I hope I don't get mugged. You know what I mean? Like, don't you do a wee bit of boxing? You leave a gym. Like, I hope somebody fucking tries something. And then straight after that, I was like, I'm easily rapable. <laughs> you can abuse me, and I can't fight back. <laughs> At least you got a rip whistle. You know what I mean, <laughs> fire. <laughs> 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 And the, the the gum shield then is it not one of those fitted ones? It's not as it so as it's, huge, is it? it? It's one of it's one of them ones. You, it's I didn't fucking put it in hot enough water when I first got it. All right, okay. So yeah. I'm okay with it now. It's actually a, it's fucking massive, but uh, but um, and then yesterday, yesterday, and weirdly, I'm a full Zoolander. I can't, I can't turn two directions. <laughs> so you show me these wee fucking do you do that wee slip and spin fucking body shot stuff? Right, Tyson, well. and I can do it that way, but this way I'm like, I, I, can't, I, just, I, can't do it. I swear to God, man. <laughs> and it's hit a point where it's hit a point now where I know the guy well enough, he's a really good, good dude. And I'm like, man, just hit me hard, I'll learn that way. So he slapped me with pads, and I'm like, right, fair enough. <laughs> I'm just like, hit me again, just fucking, just keep in hitting fair, me. Yeah, I was gonna say, in fairness, it, it is the best training getting, slapped. yeah, absolutely. Like, because they have to prepare it. Because you didn't get slapped in the face last time. Like, let's be honest, you weren't up against it. I got a couple of things in the face. Like, I sparred with Shane and Sean. Got a couple of good. But I mean, in the fight, that clout. No, oh, I. Yeah. Listen, my next fight's not going to fucking touch me either. I mean, oh. uh, haven't, but still haven't been drunk. What? 
Still having my drunks on New Year's Day. Hmm. Trying to watch you in a podcast, sitting drinking with Taylor. Oh, that was fucking before New Year's. What was it? Yeah. I'm down to fucking. What much weight have I lost now? I'm trying to think. I think I've got a stone and a bit off because I dropped. I'm down to ninety eight kilos. Right. So I'm a hundred and seven. Fucking me. Uh, Stand up there. We get a wee uh, look at the belly. Just to be seen. Just, we fucking... on, give us a wee side profile there. Oh, Jesus. Hey, that wee fake belly had there a couple of weeks ago. So fucking. Look at that there. Look at the fucking. Look at that there. Jesus. Damn, boys, damn, boys. The fucking. I well, still fat like, but. Uh, if I wasn't at work, I'd be touching myself. You touch yourself at work. You work for the government. Fuck it. <laughs> and who says we don't give the patrons value for money? Huh? Fucking, yeah, I'm sorry about that, everybody. You're probably all fucking hard now. <laughs> or you've thrown up into your cereal. <laughs> all right. Some, somebody, somebody watching this peeling the pepper army off themselves now as we speak. <laughs> the white boy. <laughs> <laughs> pepper army white boys. Uh, so, I mean, so the boxing, the boxing has been. I think it's the, uh, June, isn't it? It is the death set. I think they said June, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to slap a wee bit. Um, I'm not entirely sure what date in June, but I it's looking like fucking June thing. So by that stage, if we're down to fucking 80 kilos, but... You might have to come down a few weights. You might have to find a different opponent if you're too skinny. Nah, that's right. I'd fit any man corner away and take a short yeah. any man back, lad. <laughs> uh, uh, well, so, I mean, when's the... When, so today, obviously today's... Tuesday. So is it tomorrow that you say the gig start up again for you, or? Yeah, so I'm off Monday, Tuesday, start here, and then I've got. I'm. Only, I think I'm only doing a twenty minutes spot somewhere tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, right. and then I should have done more solo shows now that I'm winning the awards. But I only booked five in for Perth. Uh, and then explain, Adelaide, I'm doing five. Explain to me Perth in regards to like pop. What are we? What are we talking? What I I don't know what size. Like what city wise would it be comparable to? See the actual size of the city centre. It's about the same size as Belfast. If, if, oh right, okay, right, yeah. But the outskirts of like the all the suburbs, uh -huh. insane. Like even the, the wee suburb we're in at the minute has a shopping centre in it about the size of Victoria Square. Right. Okay. Fine. And every one of them does. Right. So about every fucking you can drive about twenty minutes and get another massive shopping centre. Do you know what I mean? So it's like. Hmm. I think most of the most of the money came from Perth or that's in Perth came from all the sort of mining jobs. Um yeah. but someone told me it's like there's let me I can't double check. I go, oh Cal, I'm actually sitting at a laptop hang on that fucking I'll just go real quick. I hope it doesn't cut out. What are you gonna figure uh, out? Population of Perth. Two million. Jesus. So it's more than the Northern end. Yeah. The whole north one point six or one point eight. And a and a city centre is that's about not. the same size as Belfast. No, to be honest with you, I don't even know if it's the same size as Belfast. Aye. <laughs> it's just the north. We have one big city. It's, it's a, essentially not it's big. Essentially how, yeah, it's how people behave and stuff. It is, it's my favourite place in Australia. Right, okay. Do you have going though? Fucking. What happened? Why, why is that? Or what, is, what causes that? They just fucking put 50p back in the meter, folks. Oh, that's all right. I thought it was a heat thing. That, that, that magnet slipped. <laughs> Working class. <laughs> the, the magnets slipped their pet. <laughs> but I, so, yeah, because I was in town the other day and walked around, pretty much walked around the whole city centre and went, that, that, it's, it's quicker than walking around Belfast. Right, okay, fuck now. And then, I um, use like east, west, north, south, where, whereabouts in Australia are you? Oh, this is first west. Right, okay. Right, All right yeah. W uh, Western Australia. Yeah. Oh. Is that a bird in the background? Yeah, it's her buddies. What oh, is a fucking bird? I thought you were joking any longer. I, was thinking, well, I, I can hear birds. Yeah, I thought, three of them. I thought I hadn't even smoked today, but I can hear Hold on, mate. The stepchildren. <laughs> hey! Go make me come in there. <laughs> I don't understand a word I'm saying. Bastards. <laughs> no, no, no respect in this house. <laughs> are they, are they, they're, they're, all, they're not talking birds, are they? Nah, but just fucking they don't listen either. <laughs> just tell, tell you what, be fucking fantastic if you left the the part and present you left was teaching the fucking parrot or a bird to say the the yeah. American accent. Tell, tell you what, they, I have heard them say between themselves is they've gone. He's not a real dad. I've heard them say that. 
Chicky <laughs> yellow red bass in the back. <laughs> I need a burp. Oh. Um, you want to crack it open? Do you just miss me? I do. Uh, fuck it. We miss you badly. Hey? We miss you. We had Queens. How's, how's Queens without me? Better? Probably better because I'm there, but I mean, uh, in, in, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, Queen was lovely actually, but I, I had one of those really, uh, like hectic weeks. You know, for me, I don't really, I'm not like yourself, I won't be out every night, but I've been no. out, I've been out every night since last Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, uh, But, uh, yeah, so Lavery's last week, Wednesday and Thursday, which was great crack. And, uh, who else was on? Martin Angola was up from Dublin and. Hegarty was on, and then McCann hosted the first night and gave us the second night. But in the second night, I was uh, I was sitting there, fucking Mark Nelson came in because he was doing his uh, live night <clears throat> right after. And I was sitting there, and, and because obviously, as you know, the Wednesday and Thursday, you know the lineup, like obviously, because it's two nights in a row. So he came in and get us, like, oh, do you want to do 10? And Mark was like, ah, if you don't mind. And I was like, oh, fuck. I know exactly. <laughs> I know there's only one spot where he can go in the lineup, and it's just before me. And I was like, well, "You fucking bastard!" Uh, and he was fucking brilliant. Like, but yeah, it, uh, it turned out well for me too in the end up. But um, right. yeah, it was great. Great to see him again. Actually, for a while, I haven't seen him in a long time. Um, Nelson's he's unbelievable. He's, uh, he's one of the one ten, of the unsung heroes of comedy. I think like absolutely, his ten minutes was just fucking genius. Like it was brilliant. There was everything in it. There was physical. There was fucking sorry, everything that you needed. It was all there. He was fucking yeah. unbelievable. Um, and then with Dilly's a Friday night, which was another fucking stomper, like really good night, actually really good. And uh, and then I had the band and Limelight and Saturday night. Getting oh, I class. Getting my freak on. And Mustang, then we, Mustang Sally. Oh, we were riding Sally riding. Uh, and then uh, last night then Queens, so it was good. Um, well, I, I it's fucking nice mental because it's uh. I'm filling in all the gaps that you've left. <laughs> I was just going to say, there seems to be an awful lot of work on now. Daddy's not home. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in between whether you should come back or not. <laughs> a lot of roofs getting put back on. I'm guessing now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, it must be a nightmare fucking trying to fill them shoes. I don't know. I don't know something else. <laughs> nah. Good nothing. It's too warm. I can feel the heat wave starting now. My balls are soaking. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, everything's everything's uh, everything's going good. Um, but we do, my Sheena, you're 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 messed around out of the green room now. Nah, not gonna lie. I want to know what I miss it myself. I've been sitting in the house every night, crying myself to sleep, just thinking, fuck. I put the wolf tones on. I just sit here and I just thinking. <laughs> but to be honest with you, I don't miss home at all. Found a shop that sells potato bread. We're back in the game, baby. Oh, <laughs> And uh, do you genuinely not you know, you know apart from obviously uh, we'll 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 say that the, the natural thing is you miss me the podcast and all the rest but genuinely are you nothing else you must know yes <laughs> miss it miss everything I miss the wind <laughs> and the rain <laughs> I walked into an Irish bar the other day I just it was in between gigs just hanging about and this this fella goes hey hey I know you lot. I know you off the general tea with me. Well, the general blast, general blasters tea. But, but you're you're famous, boy. And I was like, "What's my name?" And he went, "Ah, fuck." <laughs> so that made me want to go home. <laughs> and of all the list of podcasts, did he mention your own? No. What the fuck? <laughs> I fucking love you on the general Joe Rogan fucking. The general tea ba- blasters. Hey, you're you're Stephen Bartlett, aren't you? <laughs> like, oh, I actually, me. get us to the thing. Uh, I know you've seen him do it before. We talked and and uh, on Friday night, but he, it's one of those ones that when it happens, the entire room knows he's talking about you. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it was that uh, it was a bit about you know the the like long term relationships. You know, I have a friend who. Is recently, uh-huh. you know, and he says, I have a friend recently um, is going with Gerard from Australia, and you hear the audience going, that's Maggie, that's Maggie, that's Maggie. You know, the right. and to get it. And then he went, and, I, and you could see he was realising that the whole room knew exactly who he was talking about, and he went, his name's Ricky Tartlett. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, that's my fucking joke. What, what was he saying, the baldy hair? Well, what do you mean that's a joke? Ricky Tartlett? Yeah, the fucking, a guy brought me on stage. I, that's whenever... 
Do you remember whenever I got brought on as Ricky Martin? Uh-huh. And that doesn't matter. What was he saying? Was he slabbering? Because anytime any Dennis mentions me, I always find it's going to be some fucking type of slabbering shit. No, it was just about how do you, you know how does a couple survive with a uh, uh, long distance relationship, and basically it was like you know, oh, there's plenty of things can be done via telephones, but there was no detail or anything together. It was just a, a sort of runaway thing. It was like it was leading right. into, but it was, they had to mention you because the whole room went. It's me, it's me. All right, <laughs> via telephones. I mean, what was it, nineteen ninety four? Sorry, it's all FaceTime. It's all FaceTime these days, lad. All right, okay. Sorry, is that not on a phone? No, you, you, that's not a, you don't rub it, hide it, nothing. It always gets suspicious when that her fucking mentions me on stage. I'm like, what the fuck you? He didn't, he, he genuinely didn't want to mention you, but it got to the point where he was going, I'm going to have to say something here. And you could see his cogs working. He went, uh, his name is Ricky. <laughs> uh, same. You can't do lavish at the back of comedy. Ah, well, this was daily, so uh, it was all right. But that's what I'm saying, because the whole... Uh, you can't, you can't yeah. do dailies at the back of the I can't do anywhere without Iron Mike. Uh, but I, it was... Uh, it was what? I don't know, I'm just talking shit. Oh, okay. Because yeah, you're breaking up there, I don't know what was going on there, I don't know if the birds were getting involved. Ah, fuck. But, uh, right, so, I mean, you're... you're you, you know then that we're... Uh, we have you in for April, so... Uh, uh, yes, I understand, I understand. Uh, you time yourself, mate, time your dads. Now, the other thing somebody's asked us about is we are coming up to, uh, in around May or June time, our 200th episode. So I know we've, had, over. Yeah, uh, we've had questions about are we doing anything, so uh, we must get that organised and maybe make a wee parte out of it. We'll, we, organize, we'll organise a wee fucking live, live, a wee live boy. A wee live boy, a wee homecoming, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Quite, oh. quite the parte. Uh, oh, yeah. So we'll have to try and figure that out. We need to get details and stuff, and, and and we'll try and we'll try and suss out something for that. For probably as I say, it's going to be June time, but I think we're on one eight something, one eight nine or something like that. So yeah, um, well, yeah, no, Bob. Well, here I'm I'm going to go wash my balls for a second because it's very sweaty. Uh, and you going to slap your uh, fucking birds? I know. I, I, I'm going to choke one of them just to teach others a lesson. Uh, He's, but I, I'll, he's not dead, he's uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so fucking, we'll jump over to Patreon and answer questions and all that sort of shit if you want. Yep. Um, and then I'll fucking see you later on. And Lou, peace out. All the best, true. <laughs> Hello, right. All right. Do we need to stop? I'll tell you what, I can.